After completing your workflow's admission process, verify the device is in spot check mode and your patient's primary ID is displayed in the patient information pane. Once verified, you are ready to start measuring your patient's vitals. Apply the appropriate SpO2 sensor to your patient for the monitor to display the SpO2 numeric, waveform, and pulse rate. After applying the appropriately sized blood pressure cuff to a different extremity than the SpO2 sensor, if possible, press Start NBP to begin the measurement. The Start NBP button turns red and reads Stop NBP while measuring. Once the measurement is complete, the button returns to green and the patient's NBP and MAP display on the screen. The time since last blood pressure measurement displays below the NBP value until the measurement is saved to the device. Select the respiration numeric pane to record your patient's respirations. Enter your patient's respiratory rate using the on-screen keyboard, then select OK to return to the main screen. Your respiratory measurement now displays on the main screen. Your device will likely have an exergen temporal or a Welch-Allen oral and axillary thermometer. If your device uses the Welch-Allen oral and axillary thermometer, watch for the ready signal and listen for the chime indicating the thermometer can be placed in the measurement site. An hourglass displays on the monitor while temperature is running, with the source of the temperature reading beneath the hourglass. Oral and axillary temperature can be measured at the VS30. The monitor provides a chime and the patient's temperature displays when the measurement is complete. On devices without an attached thermometer, select the temperature pane to enter a measurement manually. Manual entry is available for all measurements on the VS30. A source of the manual measurement may display on the VS30, however, the source will not transmit to the electronic medical record. To input temperature measurement manually, select the measurement pane and change the temperature source to manual input. Validate the fields are correct, then select Input Temperature Measurement to display the on-screen keyboard. Use the on-screen keyboard to record your patient's temperature, then select OK followed by Done to return to the main screen. If your facility has configured any additional observations or measurements, such as blood pressure location, select Observations and Assessments. Use this pane to record any configured observations or assessments. Select Done to return to the main screen. Once all vitals have been measured and any additional observations or assessments are recorded, select Save to save the patient's vital signs to the monitor. When a patient record is saved to the monitor, the patient is automatically discharged from the device and all default settings are restored. SpO2 and pulse continue to be monitored until the sensor has been removed from the patient. Philips.